Okay, I think we've shown that enough. That's about the fourth time we've shown that. But, you know, we like it out there, some of you guys out there. And that was part of an ad from a pro-Trump, pro-vet, pro-gun company. It's called Black Rifle Coffee. But there's this story, too. A coffee shop in Pennsylvania, it's using loyalty cards that require a hole punch through President Trump's head. Co-owner says it's only meant to poke fun at the president, that they're not endorsing any dangerous acts whatsoever. Let's listen. We are not threatening the president. We don't want to physically hurt him. We do not condone any sort of hate. It's completely against who we are. Joining me now, the founder of Black Rifle Coffee Company. He, look who's here, Evan Hafer. Evan, uh, I mean, this is a harmless joke. Doesn't this stunt look like a harmless joke to you? Yeah, it's a harmless joke on one hand, but it, it obviously identifies exactly what type of political spectrum they're in. And this is the problem that we've had with the coffee industry just in general, is most of them are super liberal, and yeah, we're pro-coffee, but we hate conservatives. And it's just kind of a blatant shot across the bow, again, to just conservative ethics and conservative politics in general. Okay, let me he hear you out on this. You wouldn't like it if they were punching holes through Hillary Clinton or Obama's head, right? Uh, you know what? That, that's. I, I would think it was funny. It was something we'd never do. Oh I wait, think wait. So are you having a little double standard here? Is it okay to punch holes in no. Hillary Clinton, Obama's head? I'm saying that from from my perspective, if you know, as a conservative, I would never do that because I think that's just one step further. And people would identify that as I'm trying to put a hole in their head on a card. So literally, it's it's just boils down to the business itself and their decision okay. to make that. It might be funny, but in a physical act, it doesn't look good. And really, it's just kind of disgusting. All right. You know, I think people are tired of politics at the coffee counter because switching gears, right. Evan, I want you to talk about this story. We have an app offering a free cup of Starbucks coffee. It, it was, uh, I think it comes out of Massachusetts, this application on the internet. And you get the free cup of Starbucks coffee if you're willing to talk to someone you disagree with. Evan. Right. I mean, again, Starbucks is not a partner in this app, has nothing to do with this app. But do you like this? Uh, sure. You know what? If it's going to take people outside of their comfort zone, they're going to start talking about politics in general. Does that mean that they're going to be open to ideas? No, they're just going to get a bunch of free coffee because ultimately I think they've already made their decision on one side of the spectrum or the other. So. Sure. Yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. We, we're running out of time, but I want to get you yeah. in, your reaction to this story about that. You probably heard about it, that Drexel University professor, you know, yeah. sparking a lot of outweigh, outrage after, right. he, uh, you know, a passenger gave a soldier, um, you know, his seat on a flight. He tweeted this quote out. Some guy gave up his first class seat and I felt like, you know, I'm trying not to vomit. What do you, what'd you think about that? It's disgusting. It ultimately just proves that, sure, you can have a high IQ in America, but that doesn't prevent you from being a moron, right? So he's exercising his First Amendment right, but ultimately the guy's a moron. So you're a vet veteran. You're a military uh, veteran. You hire a lot of veterans. And, you know, your guys and you hire, I guess, you know, you fought to, you fought for the uh, free speech in the First Amendment, right? Yeah, absolutely. And really, you know, you're not going to blame the soldier. You're going to blame the politicians or the, the, the guys that are ultimately deciding whether or not the United States goes to war. That doesn't boil down to the soldier. So yeah. the soldier, it's thankless service. We get paid nothing and we're putting our lives okay. on the line or we put our lives on the line for this country. All right, so we got to go. Thank you for your service, Evan Hafer. Come back soon.